let me quickly tell you a story about some scammers and the people who love to be scammed. Are you it started in 1999. Baba or Sanjo at all. Could son anything. The one who did not Sanjo gave us another one who is sick and he died perhaps in the hands of the people at the background of this picture that you're looking at. And after this one, we came to another one who came telling a story of how he didn't have his shoes when he was young. That is not correct. After being elected, we know what happens. Then his rules gave room for the one who came with the change mantra that was personally installed by the one I called the Don. He cleaned up himself so quickly, traveling constantly to the UK, using our ad end taxpayers' money to clean up himself and to replenish all the nutrients he was lacking. They were so comfortable at the Asoro to the extent that his daughter was even using a pri presidential private jet for her own personal use. I wasn't so shocked when the presidency came at the end of the day to say the daughter has the right to use the presidential jet for her own personal use. Obviously, when you elect one family member, you have elected everyone, and their responsibility is being shouldered by all Nigerians who are suffering. <laughs> And now we have the Don taking up the position that he has always wanted. Now, who caused us? Who did this to us? Are we not caused? Or perhaps we just love our scammers? I won't be so shocked seeing multitude, crowd, galvanizing at the back of the people who have plunged us into penury.